I appreciate the uh, fact that uh, these policy briefings are being held on a monthly basis and it's a very, very good idea, very educative, very instructive. And when it comes to the IOU uh, compliance regime, uh, we found ourselves uh, very much at a very difficult period. The challenges are very, very fun, uh, serious in that um, we are just coming from a, a post-conflict situation, a fragile state. We register, uh, of course, uh, flags of convenience. We have issues of uh, dealing with pirates in the uh, Gulf of Guinea and also the issue of uh, the IUU implementation regime. I thought with all those challenges, being a fragile state, and more so a leading one for that matter, a pilot, uh, pilot country implementing the, the, the new deal, we thought perhaps uh, given that we also have this serious challenge of uh, Ebola, uh, uh, epidemic disease in the region, that it's high time we appeal to, the, uh, to our EU partners to give us special consideration in the uh, implementation of the IUU re uh, regime compliance and that um, because of the limitations we have in the national indicative programs in implementing the EDF 11 that each country is limited to three sectors while we have this multipl uh, multiplicity of uh, tasks we have to, co to, to fulfill we thought perhaps, you know, three sectors are too small because in our own NIP, we went in for education, food security, and uh, st uh, state, state building. I thought now that we have been exposed by the Ebola, our health sector is uh, tasked with so many challenges. This is an area where we need to be brought, uh, to be accommodated in the new EDF 11. Added to that is the IUU regime uh, compliance. We believe that uh, we should be given special consideration to enable us implement the program. Now that we are faced with challenges of Ebola, when people are moving out and then, of course, when some states are tempted to isolate us in the region, it provides a perfect uh, setting for IUU uh, fishing, in illegal fishing. And this is why I need to appeal, together with my colleagues from the region, for special consideration to be, get, to be given to us as a fragile state, as a state that is struggling to handle the Ebola epidemic, and also a state that is really taking courageous action to, to be uh, IUU compliant. We have uh, this large area to to, to surveillance, we don't have the resources, the, the capacity, and uh, so we need all kind of support, coupled with the challenges now we now face. So I'm sure that um, if we have uh, this kind of indication, like what uh, the bond has told us today, the advisor, the principal advisor to the Maritime Directorate. Uh, that uh, yes, they are ready to listen to us. Yes, they are ready to accommodate so, uh, requests from these affected states. It gives me a lot of uh, hope and a lot of encouragement. I, I feel very inspired and uh, I'm sure I'm going to convey that to my government uh, probably latest by tomorrow, if not today.